Remember, like, yeah, yeah, they needed so, needed so many hours. Yay. So they were like, this is how we're going to solve it. We'll put a bucket <laughs> on our head and a double will play her. <laughs> we're the cast of Zoe 101 and we're hanging with J14. I mean, I think for me, especially, it was different because I was so young. Uh, they were like a couple years older than me when we actually did the show. So getting to connect with them on an adult level and feel like part of the actual game this time was super cool. But at the same time, it was like nothing has changed. We're all kind of still kids at heart. It was magical. <laughs> it, it felt perfect. It felt right. It felt like sort of surreal. Uh, I think as Aaron has mentioned before, sort of like uh, a dream almost that has somehow come true. I don't know, it was really fun. It was just really great to see everyone again. It was great to see how everyone has grown and changed, yet how everyone has still remained like at their core the same, which was really beautiful and awesome. Uh, so that was fun. Yeah, I mean, even though like I'm a mom now, it was so fun to kid again almost and just kind of, um, you know, be able to laugh and just, um, you know, that that's an energy that I think is important, especially as we get older. And I think that it was just really nice to just feel like young and having fun again and doing something we all love and pick up right where we left off. Yeah, and I feel like bringing my daughter on set was really a, an amazing moment to like introduce her to all these people that I grew up with and like all these people that I look up to uh, was, was really special. And for her to actually get a chance to watch me film and ask like, Dad, what are you doing? Like, what, what, why did you say that? You know, I'm like, <laughs> it was, it was an amazing, amazing feeling. And just to be around everyone, I think that's her crying right now. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it was just awesome. It was awesome. Drinking ranch dressing. Yeah, pranking Matt. <laughs> uh, yeah. Having fun in the school trailer. Yeah, yeah, we were just talking about that in an interview. Um, we, uh, you know, we were shooting this beautiful location and there were so many awesome memories, but a lot of it was, um, you know, when we were just being normal kids in a school trailer trying to get schoolwork done with our awesome school teacher, Miss Patty. And so I think that was some of our best memories when we were just like being kids, um, aside from anything else. I, I think that those are the memories that I think back on a lot. I think my favorite memory too is still to this day, the Jet X. Uh, episode. Oh, that was so fun. Yeah, uh, when we were not shooting certain scenes, like we'd just be writing them everywhere. And then they yeah. actually gifted us gifted it that yeah. as well too, which was a lot of fun. Get to write that everywhere, so. I really it was so much like, fun. The season finales I loved because it got the whole, we always, the season finale would always have the whole cast together. So instead of like individual scenes with people, we would literally always be together and we'd be on like location sometimes at a beach or something. And it kind of ended up feeling like a, a hangout session and it was amazing. Definitely, because with such a large ensemble cast, a lot of our scenes were just broken up into like two people, three people interacting together. And it was very rare to get everyone together. We also knew those scenes would take forever we were in it for the long <laughs> haul yeah it's yeah. like this one scene is gonna be the thing we do all day long let's go yeah exactly and with kids oh my, and yeah time. really get us to look in the right direction for that long i remember <laughs> matt and i had to drive <laughs> golf carts, or excuse me we had to drive go-karts for an episode that was especially fun matt's <laughs> go-kart went like 80 miles an hour and like i couldn't no. drive at the time and it was like a big deal like i remember driving that thing around for a second i was like okay i'm like an inch off the ground like what? it's a good old time it's good times grip people had like was doing wheelies on the um golf cart do you guys remember that yes <laughs> so they were, oh, they were, they were on the back Chris, yeah guys. yeah 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 oh, boy, still do that yeah. <laughs> I love the episode where we, we went into the into the hills with the haunted ghost guy because we oh. got to hold that time and then we busted your lip and <laughs> the curse of PCA. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was super Earth. fun. We all got to dress up too. That was cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then there yeah, was the good. We had a night shoot where we got in and out. Remember? Dan got oh, that was oh, the yes. best ever. I forgot oh. about that. Oh my god. That's the best Wait, memory. Don't you remember? Yeah. But for the curse of PCA, I had they put that bucket on my head, and the only reason they did that was because of us having the time. Remember, like yeah, yeah, they needed so, needed so many hours. Yay. So they were like, "This is how we're gonna solve it. We'll put a bucket <laughs> on her head, and a double will play her." That'll be great. Yeah.
Yeah, that's you were like in the cart. You were in the cart. Oh my god! <laughs> they're they're on my head. Literally, that's the thing. when, when oh you're having, you're working with kids, when you're working, working with youth, there's only so many hours you can work them, and so we'd always be working against the clock. And they say that you blow up, and it sounds so violent and descriptive, but like this person's going to blow up, so we constantly be having to. They're, they're gonna blow. <laughs> we have to constantly figure out ways to keep things going, even when one of the actors is going to have to not be there anymore. So we'd like yeah. shoot people out, or in this case, literally put a bucket over Jamie's head and pretend it was Jamie, even though it was somebody else. <laughs> Where did but you I get think... that bucket? Where did no, but they pretended, from? they knew that from the beginning. They knew it was going to be like a lot of scenes with me, so they like planned for that. Like, it was oh, like oh, a oh, bunch wow. of like grown ups in the room being like, how do we solve this? We got it. <laughs> figure it out. We got that it. Was that was it was so fun. That was just such a fun show. Oh my goodness. It was. That's not a problem we've run into today, necessarily. So that's fun. <laughs> no buckets. No more buckets ever. necessary. I think we should bring the bucket back just for kicks. All of us. Well, for sure. Kicks. Yeah. On a day off for you, Jamie, you can take the bucket. Yeah, I just don't feel like shooting <laughs> today. Can we bring the bucket back? <laughs> Well, this right here, I mean, the chemistry is, I yeah. mean, I mean, come on, what are we talking about? <laughs> well, I think that like, as we all would like, you know, when the world can somewhat go back to normal, we would all like to, you know, officially get uh, the reboot going. But until then, I think that right now, this is just um, a little gift to the fans for being so loyal to us and sticking with us. And while we're all locked up, thankfully we can, you know, try to give them little pieces of what we are working on for the bigger picture. And um, this is just kind of a tease of what's to come. And hopefully it, you know, it's just a little tiny thank you or a way of saying thank you to them for being so loyal to all of us. And there's so many unknowns too of so many different storylines. So I think it's just super exciting for them to see us all together again and have them make up certain scenarios as well too. Yeah. Yeah. Possibilities. Be sure to tune in on all that at 8.30 p.m. on Nickelodeon. <laughs> tune in to all that on Nickelodeon at 8.30.